Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the Nifty Show. Today, we are going to be discussing Machi's $39 million meme coin pre-sale raise. He's, hey, he's raking it in. He said, screw you. I am earning back all of my blur losses. I'm getting it all back in one day. Um, and whether or not he's actually doing anything with this, um, we got some predictions for it that are going to be fun. We got some anime mania i would say uh, azuki made an anime chain announcement we got san fran tokyo doing some anime foundation stuff powered by manga powered by anime we're gonna break it down a little bit further because i got some questions about it and we're gonna check in on ordinals because it's it's looking nasty over there it's looking real bad uh but as well as they have an upcoming a big upcoming mint today ink on bitcoin expected to run we're gonna talk about all of that stuff but before uh we kick things off uh, oh, and I also have some trading ideas over on Solana NFTs. I, I've been getting my hands already. I've been doing some research over there. Some paper trades, uh, dare I say. Um, I saw a comment real quick, and I saw it easy. I saw it on your title today. Is SPF getting sentenced today? Is that what the, the story is? 9.30 a.m., 24 minutes, he's being sentenced. Sorry, you said what, what time? 9 a.m.? 9.30, 23 minutes now. 23 minutes from now and that this is like his official sentence because i saw people were like he's got to do a couple things before there's like other cases that they had to get solved so it's this is the official one. Oh yeah he's uh we're gonna find out if he's going to jail what it, it wasn't there always already a recommendation for like a a sentence they were supposed to give him and it was like we're looking at 40 to 50 years 40 to 50 got it oh yeah um, I tweeted out this from the nifty account uh, about a week ago, but there was a, uh, a gambling, I forget what the classic gambling site is that people use in crypto, um, that were betting on how long the, he was going to get sent Poly to markets, poly markets. That's exactly what it is. I'm going to look at it right now. Poly market. How long will SPF sentence be? This is so insane. Hold on. Let me pull this up. Uh, so I can share my screen. And also share the link in the Twitter spaces. But um, yeah, we got some big $1.2 million has been bet so far on what SPF sentence will be. <laughs> um, the, the the most popular bet was actually five to 10 years. That's impressive. But they were all actually That's what a lot pretty, of people are thinking, five to 10. Pretty even, Steven. Um, but the thing is, this is probably the highest upside one because it has the lowest um uh, lowest probability but the most likely scenario is that he gets 20 to 30 it looks like according to this website and two hundred thousand dollars have been bet on less than five years are you kidding me yep. <laughs> signal any any predictions on how long uh, he gets i want i want him to roast for long i want him to i want him to get 40 to 50 but i think he'll get 10 to 20 uh depending on his behavior previously so i mean let's see on this they just they like they like they need to just set an example they really do because obviously they want what they can't like a lot of the um folks within the industry who have done something bad uh are not normally u.s citizens so this is a really good opportunity to just like get a good bad u.s citizen set the example and be like no nah, you're going to get 20 to 30 or 10 to 20. I'm going 10 to 20 on this. Easy. What are you getting, Clemente? What are you guessing? We'll have our own little uh, poly, poly market bet. Uh, I think 10 years. 10 years. It, 10 it's years. hard because he got the customers got paid back. No, they all got paid back. They all got made not whole. Not yet. Not yet? Yeah, not yet. Not yet. I have not been to. paid back yet. As a customer, I can tell you, I have not been paid back yet, but I keep getting emails about it. So it's coming, <laughs> it's coming, but uh, not at the valuations that we all wanted. But um, yeah, let's see. Well, we'll find out very soon, but I'm I'm thinking 10 to 20 here. I, I think I, not to agree and, and go with the same bet, but 10 to 20 feels reasonable. Five That's to a wide 10. range though. Are we saying over under 15 years? Uh, uh, yeah, Ooh, I'm going, yeah, let's say 15 to 20. Like, yeah, I'm going to go 15 to 20. Over 15. Yeah, like 17, 18 years. That's what that's I'm what under I think 15. You'll get. I'm under as well. I'm under as well. I think he's got some of his sleeve. I think he's been buttering these guys. This up. man is like one of the biggest US political donors. Like people he's sleep in. on it, dude. Like <laughs> I'm down to go down the rabbit hole. I'm down to speculate on any conspiracy with this. I think I mean, dude, people call me crazy. I'm like, dude, if he gets five years, I wouldn't even be shocked. Like if they literally slap this guy on the wrist. And shit, give him internet access in jail? Wouldn't even be surprised.
Like, literally would not even be surprised. Like, at the end of the day, dude was a heavy donor. Dude supposedly is paying people back. Supposedly. Paying Allegedly. The, this is a funny-ass comment. Blake said, who's getting more time, SBF or P. Diddy? <laughs> oh, Diddy. Diddy's Diddy getting sure. more time. Diddy's Diddy way getting more. more time. Way more. You don't dude. even have to go down the algorithm, the algorithm, like, you know, conspiracy theory. Diddy for sure. uh, whole. Diddy's going down for life. If not, if for not worse. Sure. For sure. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm talking about it, but dude, my my Twitter feed is a disaster nowadays. Like it's just terrible. It's conspiracy theories. I'm getting all of a sudden Huberman, Andrew Huberman getting roped into like oh, he has like six girlfriends. P. Diddy. Now I'm getting like clips of P. Diddy when he was on Nickelodeon. Do like it's a disaster right now it's like 20 i'm getting the same i don't I'm know what it's going the so, internet's trying to tell me that oprah is part of the p diddy ring and i'm like i have yep. to stop i'm gonna just i'm cl i'm closing the app now just just ozempic nope, i'm locked in i agree yeah and that i get the ozempic stuff too of like celebrities before and after they're on ozempic and now they're saying like drewski's on ozempic dude I saw drewski's on ozempic <laughs> saw that what I saw that drewski and i, I, I didn't like, is on it i was like okay, yeah yeah, yeah everyone now. i feel like everyone on twitter now is just getting all these like because that's the highest engagement stuff is like you tweet about these things and then it just pops into your algorithm um meanwhile like i just see my dad like scrolling through instagram and it's the most like simple stuff you're not getting any controversial stuff on nickelodeon <laughs> on uh on Instagram, so Let's, um, we're not going to talk about Nickelodeon. We're not going to no, talk right about now. Nickelodeon. Yeah, that's one I, I say we stay away from. Stay away from. That's the late night show. The Ozempic, come on, yeah. Today's show is brought to you by Ozempic. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's get let's get let's kick this off. A uh, signal, please take it away with the weather report uh, whenever you're ready. <laughs> yeah, let's get that skinny weather report going, guys. It is. Thursday, March the 28th, that ETH market volume is coming in at 24.6. That Solana market volume is coming in at 14.5 minutes. Onto the market leaders and ETH NFTs are just mainly flat over the last 24 hours, just simmering away with the largest movers, including Mockaverse, that's up to 4.8. Little Pudgies up back to 1.2. Who could have predicted that? Azuki down to just under 5. Over on Solana, the Braganas, they're up to 2.7. So Sharks is up to 4.7. So and Photo Finish is up to 15.8. So lastly, on Bitcoin, Arsic is down to zero to point zero three puppets also down to point two seven and quantum cats also down to point two eight if you look at the top four stories over the past 24 hours well firstly the sec and coinbase both declared victories over court decisions yesterday the u.s judge ruled that the sec case against coinbase could move forward with charges that coinbase failed to register as a securities business another ruling threw out charges that coinbase wallet will be operating as an un has been operating as an unregistered broker secondly if we look at the pre-sale meta mania well it hasn't died down much he opened a pre-sale for a meme coin named after his dog boba opa uh Dijon sent over 20 million dollars within the first hour which is now close to 40 million dollars with many concerns around whether or not this meme coin will actually get launched and if it does anything in the end could this be a profitable gamble for the Dijons out there we'll find out thirdly over on the gaming front we saw two large fundraisers the alluvium studio raised 12 million in series a funding led by animoca brands and parallel studios the company behind parallel alpha tcg an upcoming ai game colony raised 35 million from VCs, including Vanex, Solana Ventures, and Base. The Prime token is up 13% to 630 million market cap following the announcement and another all time high. And then lastly, there is a big ordinals mint coming today at 10, uh, coming up today as a 10K anime PFP called Ink. It's going to be minting at 4 p.m. Eastern on Magic Eastern. These are inscribed on a new category of Satoshis called Legacy Sats and have been one of the most hyped original IP mints of the year with allow list spots consisting selling in a $2,500 to $3,500 range over the past few months wow we'll see if that cooks that is all for the weather report it is back to you folks in the studio hey don't fade those legacy stats those legacy stats you know those things are rare dog <laughs> easy you're muted uh <laughs> dude, they're just you can't even say it properly <laughs> like dude i mean please don't fund my bags i have a lot list oh you have uh, a lot list yeah for ink dude, this yeah. is bullshit send it higher god damn it this Something is just higher. printing, printing money. Yeah, these. I mean, you're just gonna make a cool like four or five k today. That's uh, I hope. happy for sick. you. Yeah, happy thanks. for you, dude. You know, um, thanks. so I mean, I give you loans anyway for groceries. Yeah, 
rent. And so gas. here's my question here, right? So Legacy Sats was the name given to the Sats release to the 41 participants yep. at Katie, Katie Rod Armor. Uh, his Bitcoin conference, they did a, a Bitcoin worshiping thing, I think. And this yep. is from it. Okay. Um, 41 paper wallets, each containing 10,000 sats. Dude, what the hell? Why <laughs> Why are these legacy sats? Okay, look, I'm I'm a fan of, of the ink. You just wouldn't understand. So I'm just uncultured. Is that the problem? Yeah, you're not a Bitcoiner. Mm. Like, that's all it is. It's fine. And what did you call him? Casey Rodimer? Casey Rodimer. Rod, I mean, I say Rod Armor because that's the way I read it, but Rodimer. Katie Rodimer, uh, his legacy sets, but I that is expected to be a cook. Uh, pre-sales $2,500, $3,500. Usually those are right on the money, those uh, those pre-sale numbers. So what would that be? That's a 0.04 to 0.05 uh, Bitcoin floor post um, mint. So we'll see whether or not that actually happens. The Ordinals ecosystem has been bleeding as a whole. I'm hoping it's because of this freaking mint and afterwards we see a bit of a pump, but we will see some updates from the Daily Bones. You can go subscribe at dailybones.com. And I called him Casey, not Katie Rodimer. Come on. What are we uh, What are we talking about here, guys? Uh, first story, Solana decentralized exchange Jupiter funds its DAO with $10 million USDC and $100 million Jupe for quote-unquote operations and key initiatives with plans to top off the DAO with the same funding every year. Holy shit, this is a lot of money for their DAO. The DAO's not stupid. It, it definitely is not. I hope not because they, they got a whole lot of money, uh, dumb money, will I say. And people are saying jupe to $15. It's holding steady at its current price. Uh, next story, again on Jupiter, uh, the Jupiter LFG Launchpad Project Zeus Network announces April 4th as the launch date for their Zeus token with a $2.5 million Zeus or 2.5 million Zeus token airdrop allocated to launch pad voters. Uh, easy. Anything we need to know about Zeus? I, to be honest, I know I nothing. I don't know much about Zeus, to be honest. That was the one that won. So, I mean, like, I have some stake jupe. I, I don't really know much about it. That's kind of my issue. I didn't vote. I participated in the bank's bribery mm -hmm. system that they had, mm -hmm. hoping that that would work out. Turns out, if you did the bribery system, they then did a first come, first serve for people who got the bank's token that did the bribery, which was just awful, like absolutely terrible. Um, ended up not getting anything for it. So now I'm like, okay, well, this was dumb. But I think that Jupe stakers do get a reward of Zeus. Got it. Got it. Well, good to know. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, Blate said, yeah, wait. Blate's on fire today. He said, wait till Machi hears about this DAO allocation. Dude, he's going to be getting his paws all over this thing. <laughs> he's going to be he's going to be sweeping floors with it. Um. Anyways, uh, next story. Larry Fink, the Finkinator, again, pumping our bags. He was on Fox News yesterday talking Bitcoin. He stated that the iBit Bitcoin ETF is the fastest growing ETF in all of history. So he's going on and he's just pumping the living hell out of our bags. Awesome to see. I don't mind that at all. Um, last story. Oh, last story. Here we go. Casey, Katie Rod Armor, um, the Ordinals Protocol creator, published documents for the upcoming Roots Protocol, um, and it's titled The Ordinal Theory Handbook. This looks, mm -hmm. it is very dense, if I were to say so myself. It's he also, book. it's it's a whole book, it's a handbook, you know, you're going to have to get some training on it, but um, he also tweeted yesterday that um, if he does, if Runes does not reach a $1 billion market cap, I think he said within the first month, I'm going to pull up the tweet, um, he said that he would commit Sudoku um so he's some crazy Don't tweets you. yeah i mean i um yeah he's he's fired up about it he's getting some i guess i don't i'm not on like ordinals twitter because i didn't get this but he's uh he's tweeting some crazy stuff out there um anyway shout out to casey we'll see how that plays out but um because that's pretty much the story to watch for in the next 30 days so let's talk let's first kick things off by talking machi um he it's a meme coin on Solana for people that don't know. It's called Boba Opa. He's Bobopa. raised Bobopa. He's raised $39 million so far uh, via his pre-sale with no signs of slowing down. Uh, other, other than the latest tweet that happened today was 
uh, only a few hours left to be quote unquote early. And like a, he said, there was a two X written in there. Um, it's a one soul minimum and people are just, just sending soul to their like, there's no tomorrow. I, uh, I'm ashamed to admit that I did participate for, this is not mean me endorsing it. Go plow your money into it. I put, I think I said two and a half soul to it, um, which I'm kind of regretting. Um, but we will see. I also did see them respond to a Binance tweet this morning with a little bit of like a boom, don't leave me hanging. It was a GM tweet, but easy. I want to throw over to you because I'm new to this pre-sale game. This was actually my first pre-sale in the Solana meme coin mania that's been going on last month. My first one participating. I had some questions for you. I'm like, dude, so I just basically send Solana to this guy <laughs> and that's Literally. it. You're like, yeah, Literally just send Sol and hope that you get something back. That's it. So this is normal for them to be totally like, normal. they don't know. Totally they're normal. not no words on when this is going to close. People are just sending soul to it. And they're like, yeah, we might launch this. And you're just kind of like, it's a Hail Mary. A Hail Mary is a nice way to put it. I would say like, that's probably the friendliest way to describe this. It's a shot in the absolute dark. Uh, it's a prayer. Some would say it's Yeah. There's been no tokenomics disclosed, so theoretically he could keep 90% for himself and say developer fees. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I mean, uh, wish us luck. I Dude, sent him a decent so stack of bread. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> in, Easy? You oh, spend yeah. money oh, as well? Easy, oh, in. yeah. Oh, I'm in. Oh, I'm in with size. I'm oh, wow. Size. Okay. So, so, yeah. so we, so we all know. That, okay, so hang on. Is there still time? Because I feel like if you guys are in, I might just have to just like, leave the one the... tiny little soul over there. Like, I'm not feeling. I, look, everyone's gonna floor the hell out of this as soon as it happens. But if they get so the Binance just, listing, um, again, everyone's just gonna floor the hell out of this when it happens. It could get the Binance listing, but. I mean, there's worse things I spent my money on. I guess if it's open, I could just fling in one soul, but I'm not I'm sending size, size signal. What is size easy? 50 Solana. What? What do you know that I don't know? <laughs> I know nothing. I know literally nothing. I think nothing. you know something, man. I know I nothing, dude. Something. He literally doesn't know shit. He doesn't no know shit. shit. And he's literally just like plowing Solana in there. And by the way, this number has gone up over time. And by the way, we are not endorsing this by any means. This it is started as five. Gambling. It started as five, then it became 20 after I joined the space. And then I was like, then someone tweeted that they put in a hundred and I was like, I can't get big dog like that. So I sent 50 cause I was like, I don't feel comfortable sending a hundred, but I guess we could do 50. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So maybe this turns into zero, which is going to be bad. Man. When Solana is at $500, you're going to regret <laughs> this so hard. Okay. I will send, but I'm going to, I'm, I'm sending one soul. I'm sending one soul. I will sleep happily at night when Solana is at a thousand dollars or a 500. Um, if, is it still open Clemente? For it's now. It's still open. It's still yes. open for now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll fling some over. No expectations. Could just you, be. <laughs> for everyone listening, people were shocked uh, that easy threw in 50 Solana. You got to keep in mind, this guy has thousands of souls. So it's not it's like me taking out a loan and being like, yo, dude, 50 soul. It would be a rough one for the kid. I would probably not be on the show right now if I said that. I would be uh, doing everything. I'd be doing the rain dance, dude. I'd be doing ceremony. You just hope that he comes out with good tokenomics and uh, please, Boba Opa, please, please take dude, care I, of me. I'd be doing some crazy things. Um, please. So I'm going to pull I mean, dude, up. We've seen what he's done with DeFi apes. That's the thing. Dude, he I'm bought. Like, he owns ninety nine percent of the supply. So why not ninety nine percent of this supply? So check this out right here. I'm gonna pin this up top for everyone listening as well in the Twitter space. They did a little fist bump with Binance, dude. They might just be fucking with us. They, <laughs> but this fist bump is interesting, right? This fist bump between Binance and Boba Opa Machi got all over it. Boba. Opa. Um, that was my thought process. He, what is his involvement with Binance? Has he worked with them in the past, or is he just part yeah, of? So, are you familiar with Cream Finance? Kind of. So no, it's DeFi rings a bell, summer, right? ETH DeFi summer twenty twenty. He had dropped Cream Finance, which was a way to take out collateral lending, much like a margin fi on Solana. You can lend, borrow against, do all this crazy stuff. Cream Finance sent like giga sent. So my thesis here is like. Why not on Solana with Boba Opa? Like, maybe, maybe we get a, maybe we get it. So, like, my th hope here is he pulls out all the stops and gets his dog listed on Binance. That's the hope. Like, send it higher. 
for my bags, please. But dude, the thing is, like, I looked at the transactions. I think there's 11 people who have sent over 500 soul. How, how do we know that he's not, dude? He might be getting his paws in on this and just be sending bullish. them to different wallets. He might bullish. be, he might be doctoring these, you know. Um, Even more bullish. Because if so, he's doctoring it, I don't think he dumps it personally. Like, yeah, who knows? He has an incentive they, for this to crush. Uh, yeah, go ahead, signal. One piece of advice is do not use Jupiter to exit this position because yeah. because Easy is going to be sprinting for the exit. You need to use you need to use like Bonk or Photon, whichever, just to like floor help whatever help allocation you have. We gotta help yeah, the kid. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. My I've thought about this a good amount. I wouldn't sell mine. So let's assume it, it actually does go live. He launches his meme coin. I wouldn't sell mine right away. I wouldn't yeet mine. I oh, would. You're an idiot. What? Yeah, you're an idiot. I would. I would imagine this thing continues to run. I'm literally operating under the assumption that like two and a half soul that I put in, he's this thing's gonna get listed on Binance. That's how I'm operating. Is like this is a hail mary play. If this gets listed on Binance, I am literally going to be missing on like a four or five X, if not more. So it's going to run to, if we're operating under the assumption of it gets listed on Binance within 72 hours, it's getting to a $500 million market cap. Am I out to lunch on that take? So why would I sell early? We, we lost it. There we go. Uh, I'm just sitting here. I'm thinking about it, man. Yeah. Uh. He's thinking as in, as in he's exiting the trade already. Clemente, I think like, well, like, you, like, Going easy. I think I, I just think Clemente is an idiot in the nicest way possible. Like, dude, it's a pre sale. Like, the theory here is like, get your tokens, it's up. You sell the shit out of it. You don't sit here and hope for higher. It's like, this is one of the dumbest things I think you've ever said. And I've seen a lot of dumb stuff come from you, man. And this is, this is top of funnel before dumb. And you're like, yeah, I think I'm just going to bag hold it. You're the reason that I'm probably going to make profit on this. All yeah, right. Thank you for your contribution. Sure. Hey, thank you. Well, hey, we'll see how it plays out, dude. We'll see. We'll see. But it's going to be real funny when I'm sitting, when you papered yours early, and I'm going to be sitting there at the freaking top of the mountain chumming it up with Machi and his dog, and we're going to be real. No way, man. <laughs> the thing is, like, the difference between you and Easy is that Easy just needs to do a 2X, and he walks out of here with a 100 soul. You doing a 2X, you walk out with four soul, which is not interesting, which is why you're looking for what we'd like, which is, no, but it isn't, right? You go from two to four soul. That's like, you know, that's going to, like, in New York, that's going to be like your lunch and a snack, right? He needs to get a much bigger return for this to look interesting, and that's why you're going to get end, end up bag holding this, because you I would keep be happy with a high gain like, of course you would you put thing, in 50 like, soul you're gonna walk out with 100 you know clemente's put I in walk two. Out with 10 soul and be happy that's a quick two bands for just sending money to a random person like that's the thing here i don't i'm not too worried about it like i probably should be like that's the thing like if this thing opens up at like a 300 mil market cap then i'm sitting pretty if this thing opens up at 100 mil market cap i'm probably sitting pretty i mean dude there's 30 million dollars in this like it's absurd. This pre-sale is absurd. Absurd. It, it's downright naughty is what it is. That's it's, a crazy it's, sentence. <laughs> that's so that's I put out a poll sentence. yesterday. Let's. I, I want to go back to the people. Here's what they were saying. I put out a poll. How much money did you send to Machi's pre-sale? We had 1,000 votes. 60% said they did not, which was surprising to me. Very surprising because it felt like everyone was doing it, but 60% did not send. 22% uh, said they sent one to three soul. I was included in that. 7.6% uh, said three to 10 soul. 11%, which is 110 out of the 1,000 people, said they sent 10 plus soul. That's a lot. <laughs> so, um, well, look, we're, we're going to see how this plays out. I don't, any closing thoughts on Machi, <laughs> whether or not he rugs us? There's no way he rugs us. I hope. And what if he just sweeps thing, apes? I saw you. I saw that you gave him the idea. I don't even know why you why you said that. Um, I would be so pissed off. What would be interesting was, hey, he sweeps apes. Maybe turns it into some sort of fractionalized thing. Um, I mean, dude, I'm just this is pure hopium that everyone is listening to right now. But um, Machi, if you're listening to this, take us home, baby. Take us home. Uh, last thing before we wrap, I saw. D's uh 
tweet out a clip from Spencer's podcast that he did. And Spencer was basically saying how easy it is in this industry to gain clout or gain relevance basically by just spending a shit ton of money. So oh, like sure. Machi gained a huge amount of like respect and attention basically by how much money he was just throwing around. Um, but in reality, it's not that much money, quote unquote, in terms of how much you can do with it. And we're seeing right now, basically all the money that he's lost and then some he's recovered by doing this meme coin, a presale. And the only reason why people are sending him money is because he's just thrown his weight around for the last two years in the space. So, um, Machi, hopefully he launches this in the next 24 hours. So we don't have to sweat this out for much longer, but Overall, it's it's pretty much the biggest story uh, to be talking about right now, and it is it does feel like a little bit of a top signal. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Azuki um, and their whole anime thing. Easy before I I kind of give my my teaser on anime chain, anime coin. Did you read the announcement yesterday that anime coin made uh, of anime chain and how it's launching on Arbitrum? Did you read that by any chance? A little bit of it, not as like I read through the the full thread that they initially shared as well. I'm like not terribly excited to be honest about it. Um, it's a subnet to an extent, which is interesting because it's some level of rails that's being built. I, it's I view it kind of similar to like AVAX subnets, but not for gaming, obviously. So they're bringing anime entirely on chain, which I don't really know why. I guess it's kind of like my my question about it but they're saying it's going to power games events new ips trading cards tv shows collectibles fashion community and what looks like some ai in there aigc was one of the graphics there on that like uh, thing there in the top so it seems like they have a lot of a lot of angles for this which is almost a, a concern for me yeah mainly because like they're spreading themselves really thin like really really thin and that's where i'm like Okay, I almost want them to just focus on one thing, like just a TV show, and maybe use the token to help dictate outcomes or something cool, or like vote on a character. Like, excuse me, but like the Arbitrum thing is where I even posted a tweet yesterday and I was like, Zagabon's gonna come out to one of these events and be like, instead of check your wallet, he'll have to say, swap to Arbitrum. Now check your wallet. Like, you know, like it just, it's kind of a disparate community here, disparate ecosystem. It still is an EVM chain, but all in all, I wasn't terribly bullish, and I don't know if that's a bad thing. It's it's hard to be. I wasn't too excited about this either. I'm curious what Azuki holders think. Um, the price action as a result of this was very interesting. We saw Azuki run from four all the way to six or uh, ETH. They got insider traded to high hell. <laughs> it was gnarly, dude. So signal these Azuki ran from four to six ETH in the last seven days. Uh, up upon the announcement, a bunch of uh, trading volume, all of, a bunch got dumped. They're back down to 4.8. So it's very weird to see this, this trading. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm too surprised on it, but Anime Chain's vision is to provide the infrastructure that enables the global anime network to live on chain governed by creators and participants. Um, my thought process is also Arbitrum must have paid them some sort of capital, uh, maybe Had a fat to. bag, in order to, to do this. Um, and it sounds like this is not just Azuki. So we, we see anime chain on here, right? I'm assuming Azuki only owns maybe two or three of these or are they doing, I mean, it does seem all Azuki branded. Is this only Azuki doing this because Azuki was announced as a premier launch partner. I don't know. I'm, I'm very confused on all this. If I'm being completely honest, I don't know if they're going to do a pre-sale for this. Definitely I don't know. Pre -sale. I, Definitely no pre-sale. No presale. Like zero percent is a presale. I think of this more like it's like how ApeCoin did it, because uh, ApeCoin launched through the ApeCoin DAO, not through Yuga. Similar thesis here is that they're launching anime token not through Azuki, but Azuki's getting it. San Fran Tokyo was also mentioned as well in some prior posts with the anime token. So there's like some things here that I'm trying to figure out because like if this token's not exclusive for Azuki, and there's another ecosystem involved, that's actually a much bigger concern. Like now you're just diluting token holders for two ecosystems and now you have to make two ecosystems happy. That's a concern. Like that is a bother to me. Yeah, but isn't it's, this part of Animoca as well? Like Animoca is partnering with them on this. So, but also what I find interesting is that, and, and, and I say this in a positive way, is that 
this is like the first time we're seeing something from Azuki, which is not just hype. It's not just like, okay, something is coming. Uh, it's element. It's basically not just more NFTs. This is something actually tangible and real that they're building here. So to see that sell off in the price action doesn't really surprise me that the space wanted hype, but didn't get hype, got deliverables of this is what we want to do over the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, so, I mean, look, guys, isn't this what we've been wanting from Mizuki? A direction, some real tangible things that they're building, uh, whether it's like over on Arbitrum, I don't think that really matters in this case. It's just now we're going to start seeing where some of that 40 million treasury war chest is actually being deployed. So for me, like I'm kind of ignoring the price action and just being like, OK, this is Azuki now delivering. What are they going to deliver? Because they are probably one of the projects out there where their community has probably been asking for something more and real. Where is Azuki going? And we kind of saw the direction that DGods has taken when something tangible hasn't come out, and now Azuki has. So this should this is a this is a uh, a step in the right direction, even though the price might have pulled back. Yeah, they're 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 doing something. You can't deny that, and and it's better than nothing. Uh, if I'm being completely honest from my perspective, and this is someone that's, you know, I've owned, I haven't owned Nazuki, I've owned a bunch of beans, I've owned a bunch of elementals. I've always felt like uh, Azuki just had this grand master plan and like everything they were doing was very skilled and like surgical. And so when I saw the elementals mint, for example, when I saw them deliver be beans initially and all that stuff, I was like, oh, there's this master plan on how this is all going to play out, the integration with it. And over time, I just got disappointed with it. And it was basically just like, yo, these guys raised just $40 million and there was no grand master plan. Uh, when they did the elementals, I mean, it was literally just like, oh, this is the same art. And no, no, Clemente, the master plan was the $40 million. It's like a heist. You know, the master plan is to get the cash. That was the heist. But I think like, you know, and this isn't, <laughs> I say that in jest, but at the end of the day, a lot of like, there is no playbook. There is no, this has been, this is how you operate in this space. Right. All of these teams are writing the playbook as they go along. And I think there are very, very few teams in this space who are actually surgical and are actually delivering. And you can probably count them on one hand. So I'm like, kudos to Uzuki for actually yeah delivering something now uh even if before they had that perception and perhaps uh all the, all that we've had is more mints this is them now moving away from that and delivering so i think that is a good thing that they are actually writing the playbook and coming out with something it, it's a big goal and maybe that's they were like hey the this if we want to reach what we need to reach we need to raise 40 million bucks and we need to do this in a way that makes sense and and i mean overall my the the fear uh is does them succeeding mean Azuki price go up is the only other thing, but it does feel like they are taking steps in the anime world. I thought it was interesting seeing how much the anime world has been growing and kind of their thought process for it. Um, the only other thing that I was confused about is then we saw San Fran Tokyo do their mint yesterday and they talked about the anime foundation and this is powered by manga and this is Animoca brands. Is this so the this same is the confusion? Thing? No, so this is different. So I think this was the confusion was I had thought this was the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I thought this was the same exact thing. I guess it's not. I guess manga is powering this. Okay. What the fuck? So this is a completely different anime totally thing. Totally different. The the I would be pissed if I was Azuki or I would be pissed if I was the other party because all of a sudden you have the same thing being announced. Like this is the day that San Fran Tokyo was launching their, their big mint and it sold out yesterday, by the way, but this is manga dollar sign manga Animoca brands has their paws all over this and it's a completely different thing, but they're both trying to do something similar. Um, <laughs> I just thought it was very interesting and I was asking questions about it and it seems completely different. This seems, uh, a lot more, uh, Animoca style, right? Like they're doing the, t their, uh, I don't know, man. But overall, I just kind of wanted to, to dive into it a bit. Um, and it seems like the both are disconnected. Um, I'm going to try something new today. Off the cuff, we have Hunt Club Hero joining us. And Hunt Club Hero is an Azuki. They, I've, I've seen him tweet about Azuki. He's a, a very plugged into the ecosystem. Um, Hunt Club Hero, I'm going to throw over to you, man. Was there anything in particular you wanted to... Uh, clarify maybe that we got wrong or maybe share your thoughts as an Azuki holder, how you felt about this announcement. 
Yo, um, you guys kind of started correcting things at the end there, talking about how Animoga is not involved on the adventure side uh, anyway, which is kind of the bigger point that I wanted to clarify just so everybody knew. But you were asking kind of how Azuki's feel about it, and I think it's a pretty broad question. I think there's a lot of us that have different views, but, I mean, having an L3 for essentially the public to be involved somehow where you don't need to have Arbitrum ETH um, to be a part of it to transact on the layer. It's it's kind of cool, right? You don't need to have Arb ETH. You don't need to have Anime ETH. The one token will allow you to purchase and fund transactions for gas. That was, that was really kind of cool. They... Tweeted, so there were a whole bunch of tweets kind of explaining things. One from yeah. Location TBA on like the dev side of things, talking about why Arbitrum. There was one from Wizwang, the head of growth, talking about um, the advantages of Arbitrum, the money that's uh, locked up over there, sure. um, the amount of gaming partnerships that they have and all this stuff. I think, I don't know, on my side, I was bullish. I mean, airdrop for Azuki holders based on the points in your collector's profile is kind of what I took away from it for the most part. I think the rest will just kind of like slow leak over the next uh, few weeks and months as it starts to get built out. Um, yeah. But yeah, there is some confusion between the two names, I guess, for a lot of people. But so, San and Rizuki. Yeah. So it, it was, we, we found out today that they're two completely different entities. They have nothing to do with each other. Um, but overall, like as a collector, as a, a holder of the ecosystem, I think the biggest thing people are caring about or are thinking about right now, especially like with the basis of this show, it is more trading driven. Basically their question is, is like, does price go up? Is Azuki launching a token? And if so, how do I try to maximize this opportunity? Are you, as a holder, does this, from a strictly an NFT perspective, because I don't necessarily, like, the, the Arbitrum thing is interesting, but I'm more curious about, like, the, the price action perspective of it. How did the community feel about the pump going into it? Was there any FUD around that? Overall, about the, the, the cadence and how the Azuki team has approached uh, the web three native side of it. Are you, what did you make of all that? And, and I guess what sentiment like, is it up down given that probably about a year ago, Azuki was at a, like a 10 plus E floor, if not more. Yeah. Good question. I mean, sentiments up in the community itself, the insider trading tip is something I saw on Twitter, but like that day, the 20th or 19th or whatever, that was the bottom for ETH NFTs across the board, right? Volume came back for every single collection on ETH that was worth any money. So, I mean, the original pump from four to five was very organic. And then from five to like 5.25, there might have been a few sales that looked maybe suspicious, but nah, there's like, that's a reach. And the rest of the pieces were just bought by Blur Loan. Like you saw the Blend wallet dumping a whole bunch after the announcement. It wasn't... Um, it wasn't like yeah. anyone real. And then it recovered real quick. I think what I noticed is the points multiplier pieces. So to get your airdrop, you have to have points, right? Technically, the more points, the more airdrops. This is like what the community has been following the whole time. Um, the pieces that give you points multipliers, like animal elementals, kid right, elementals. Right, right. And you're stuff. referring to the collector profile, the way to maximize yeah. your point. Got it, got it. Yeah, so yeah. That, those points equal airdrop, right? Technically, sure. that's the math. So, like, that's where number goes up for us. Those didn't drop at all. Animals went up from 2.3 to 3 ETH. Kids sure. stayed at 1.1 ETH. So, like, the people that are farming it didn't really drop it. The people that were hoping an Azuki announcement comes because the Zagabon interview hit, then Japan is uh, happening. I still think, though, that, the like, when you rally 50 to 60%, 48 hours before an announcement and then immediately sell off. Personally, I think there may have been a little bit of information that may have leaked out. We've seen it a few times now. It's tough to really like organic price action would have been like a 10 to 15% move in my opinion, but watching Azuki's go from four to six, just an absolute send is like, especially in a market where NFTs are seeing little to no liquidity feels a little bit, uh, feels a little bit dirtier. I would say than organic price action.
and it, it's it's very hard to do when you have an announcement that's probably been in the works for like six months with multiple parties, multiple people involved with Arbitrum and Azuki. It's hard to keep this all in versus if it was just something Azuki was specifically announcing themselves. Um, I mean, maybe, but just remember the timing that volume came back to ETH NFTs after Soul Shitters and Ordinals, 18th, 19th, and 20th. We watched it happen. They pumped from four to five ish during that. And then post announcement, they went from 5.2 to six, right? After the announcement, then they dumped. So just, it's, yeah, it's tough to say 50% climb before the announcement. It was like a 25% climb before sure. the announcement. And then it was like a 30% climb on the announcement for like moments. Then it dumped. Got it. Well, I appreciate you coming up and, and sharing your thoughts, Hunt Club. Uh, we're going to move on and, uh, on to ordinals, uh, but I appreciate you hopping on, talking all things Azuki, clarifying a couple things for us. We'll see how it plays out. Definitely interesting. Definitely um, worth monitoring over the next few weeks, few months as they roll things out in that department. Real quick, let's talk. I, I don't want to touch on it too much because I got another piece I want to talk to you guys about at the very end about some Solana NFT trades I'm, I'm cooking up. It's getting juicy over there. Um, but So runes are just a disaster right now in terms of price action. Um, here's my thesis, right? So basically, the way I want to cue this up is since we covered runes at the very beginning of the week, we were talking rune stones versus R6. They're both down about 35% since we talked about it. Which They're one's down more? Now. Uh, R6 are down more. <laughs> <laughs> so we have R6 and runes both down to 0.039 Bitcoin. It's getting, um, from what I'm seeing on Twitter, the communities are kind of going at each other now. It's getting, things are heating up a little bit. And it's interesting how the sentiment kind of changes when price action is not up only. Um, my thesis on all things ordinals is that basically in the last 30 days or so, and I'm curious what you guys think about it. We haven't seen an inflow of funds necessarily the way we saw it in late February slash the first week of March. And what's happened since then is there's more projects. There's more things requiring liquidity, right? The first two things that are trading are obviously runestones and R6. Runestones have 25 Bitcoin in trading in the last 24 hours. But you see Bitcoin puppets, for example, run to 0.3. Um, I don't know what you guys make of this. It, you know, we obviously had the ordinal maxi biz mint take tens of millions of dollars out of the ecosystem temporarily. Obviously, some people took profits, but it, it feels weird. And I don't like I dude, I bought a Nat cat. I'm down like 25% on that thing. Like I'm what down at, 0.048 or something, dude. Like I'm just I just took a fat L on that. And I'm just gonna hold it forever, but like or for at least six to twelve months, but it just sucks, dude buying something and then just taking a fat ass L after it. Um, there's the ink mint happening today. My hopium is that ordinals possibly rally going afterwards, but I'm just like, what kind of catalyst is there for a non rune related project in the next 30 days, given that all the attention and probably liquidity is going to go to runes uh, signal. I, I don't know if you have any thoughts on this. I see you're unmuted. Um, like, like to be honest, this is I'm, this is a nothing burger pullback to me. Like you're gonna see liquidity just rotate around the ecosystem. You saw a pullback when OMB's mint, uh, the, uh, the recent uh, Orange Eyes mint. There we saw a pullback. Now we've got ink. Now we're seeing a pullback. Like these, like these just come and come and go. And I actually think it's really interesting to pick up stuff, Clemente, that you potentially want to have. Um, where I struggle with RSIC is trying to figure out like how much of a pullback is due to essentially having less of the pre-mining tokens going to each RSIC versus, um, so obviously you have a time expiration there happening. And I think we've only got it until like mid April, but then you also got RuneStone seeing very similar price action. So I don't think that's been taken into account right now, but like, I think runes is like interesting. Like RSIC was at 0.11. I, I, like I want to say about three weeks ago, it was at like point yeah. eleven, and now it's down yeah, at point oh three. So that looks super interesting. Puppets look super interesting. Like a puppet app, you know, puppets at point two eight kind of remind me when Nick said that he liked the monkeys at point three, and then they full sent to like uh, well, where point they eight. were. So I think point eight. Um, so puppets look really interesting. Um, yeah, like um, 
m money will come back. And you've got the hardening in April as well. So we're definitely going to see more action there. Uh, so I just think this is a time to pick up stuff that looks interesting. I would not be worried about this pullback at all over on Ordinals. Yeah, easy. Any any thoughts? I definitely agree. Look, if you're bullish on ordinals or if you're bullish on runes right now is a very interesting time to get in. When I look at Arsic, the interesting thing here as far as price action, if you buy this, you're going to just you're going to have to be okay with taking the, like the floor price is inevitably going to go down over time because there's less incentive for you to buy in because you're starting at zero, right? Yeah, you're, and so many have already mind. farmed. Like so many right. already farmed. So it's like that price action, it makes sense why that's a little bit more on a decline because so many people have been farming them already. Then now it's like, let's recoup some cost, get out, and I still get my runes airdrop. I think the runes airdrop happens on 420 at the halving, if I'm correct too. So like that day is going to be wild. Um, but overall, like when I'm looking at this, I, I do like the puppets trade. I think there's some other ones like Bitcoin frogs are down terribly at the They're moment. That one's really bad. interesting. Um, yeah, so there's some plays that I'm looking at here. Quantum Cats still obviously with Taproot coming out here, but I think the, the frogs are really interesting at the current price point because like nothing's really changed from that thesis or that narrative and still an OG community. So I think they still get a ton of like stuff from ordinals and everything else, which is very interesting. But I think when you're looking for runes exposure, it may be time to not go for R6 and look elsewhere just because of how much has already been mined. I also think like sitting sidelined and waiting to see what runes do and where to trade them is way more interesting. Mm. Yeah, I mean that that's kind of been your your stance and and I do feel like that is a reasonable take and and I think that's what a lot of people are going to do is they're possibly going to sell a lot of my, the mm. question I'm having is has could these ordinals continue to sell off as anticipation for runes goes up? Obviously there's going to be new money that enters this ecosystem, but the existing money that's tied up in illiquid jpegs, they're going to be like, dude, I'd rather have five thousand dollars instead of it being tied up in this uh collection i'd rather just have it liquid for runes and then i turn that into a 3x and then i can buy three of whatever project i have so i don't know we'll see we'll see how this plays out it is worth monitoring obviously arsic the all-time high for this was above 0.1 if i remember uh it was all the way up at jesus 0.14 bitcoin so Definitely a big drop off, and that was just uh, at the beginning of the month. It was March fifth was the uh, the current all time high for the collection. So we'll see how this plays out. Before we wrap up the show, I've got some trade ideas uh, on the uh, Solana NFT department, dude. So I okay. was you know, I was sitting on Tensor last night, dude, and I was like, hey, I've got some soul to throw around. I've got some soul to throw around. I've been liking the price lock. Uh, that they've been playing with. So I've got two price lock trades I want to make. They're honestly, they're not that controversial, but I'm just curious to see because they're, they're like kind of reasonable. Short them. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so, all right. First one that I want to make is, and this is as of last night. So the, the price lock feature might have changed in terms of the liquidity for it. But the very yeah. first trade I would make right now is I would long Clanosaurs at 21.3 soul. Here's my reasoning. Right, so let, let me go through this. I okay. take a price lock buy at um 21, it's at 21.2, it was at 21.5 last night. The upside is 22.8. Um, so it's not that big of a it's not that big of a spread. Their listings are the lowest that they've been since August of last year. So yep. look at this, look at these listings. This is beautiful. So Clemente, right? I want you to do one thing here too to start with your analysis on this. Change yeah, yeah. this chart to USD at the top. See outliers USD, press USD. Okay, okay. now zoom out. Zoom out really far. Change it to like oh, the gonna... one day. Yeah, yeah. Let's take it to the one day, dude. We're we're almost at all time high for USD pricing here. Yikes. <laughs> so you gotta start to weigh some of these things because soul giga pumping, right? It's like it's all context based. Like if I think this entire market would be much different. If it traded in USD versus Solana, totally different, a totally different ball game across the board. Like I understand it should be a, a leverage play on the other side, but this is one of the cool things about Tensor that makes it actually like it's more seamless for me to start getting a little more analytical. We like to take a look at things like this, where we can change it to USD pricing. We can get a little bit, you know, a little, a little understanding of how the market's actually looking at this in dollar terms. And we're sitting basically at all time highs. So personally, personally, I'd be sitting here and 
I don't, I think I would stay flat. I would stay out of this trade. I wouldn't longer short it on price lock mm. purely until we get a break either down or up on this. And once you break out, it'd be really interesting. It'd be really, really interesting. I see the, so I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying on the, the USD perspective. I'm looking at it from a soul perspective, man. And I just see okay. the only thing my brain sees is these pulled back. I want, I like going back to the one hour. Actually, I see these pulled back from literally 40 soul to uh 21 so they they act so they were at 35 so yep. just at the beginning of the month then they bottomed out at 18 now they're at 21.25 i would take a swing on this man i'm well, like it okay, gets even got- crazier if you zoom back further too <laughs> that number is much higher than four look at like, the that's- look at the, the the listings are so damn low dude I'm, I'm a i'm a sucker for a good decrease in listings i'm a sucker for it okay um okay Look, okay. I think they got some cooked off for NFT NYC. So pop that open, was- the, pop open, pop open. Oh, and they do. They have cards dropping in partnership with Bonk. So they're bringing back the trading cards oh. that people love. Absolutely love it. And usually when there's a big cook on those, we see some positive price action. Pop open the price lock feature. Uh, oh, okay. So, okay, okay, okay. Um, so, okay. so that was seconds. the first Give signal. Any, um, any thoughts on the Kalanosaurus? long that i would take here 21.2 soul so far you have been the resident price lock expert mm, no i think i got the li- i think i what happened with my previous lock i think that one went bad the first one went good i think the second one went bad clement do you, did you track the trade of that clemente the second one because it wasn't clanos but went bad. uh it went bad yeah that's, that's <laughs> yeah. what i thought but hey, uh, i mean clemente, this- big dog big dog real quick Did you. you pull up oops wrong tab can you, can you zoom in a bit <laughs> i'm on photon Long tab. I need tensor. Here we go. All right, here we, here go, we go. Here we go. We share this. We share this because this is nice. this is what you gotta look at. This you gotta look at this. What can like what is the actual long and short for here? That's the main thing because we gotta look at these spreads. So if I were to go long here, I would need, I would need the price. You only need it to go up by one soul. That's not bad. It's not Man, that's not bad. That's really not bad. So that's, that's what I was spread. doing last night. Easy was I was going through collections, and some of the spreads are way big on a lot of them. Kalanos yes. was one of the small spreads. Yes. So this is actually pretty good at twenty two eight on that right now for point six one. So if we were to go long on this, let's you know connect this and take a peek. See here, if we were to go long on this twenty two eight. Mm, this is interesting. It's kind of it. It's it's kind of interesting. We pop this open. It's really close. Price is twenty two eight. Floor is twenty two six three. So break even. You need it to go to twenty three four one. Right. And and what I was saying was the listings are so low. All you need is like maybe, a, dude. A three or four sweep, and this thing's over. Dude, three or four good. sweep. The whales are ju- dude. So here's what's gonna happen. Right. Let me break it down for you guys. People break are gonna it down. Be, break it down. Break we're gonna down. be at NFT NYC. They're gonna be they're gonna be hammered, dude. They're gonna be tequila shots, booze okay. is flowing, right? And yeah, dare yeah, I say, yeah. maybe the co-founder slips up a bit. They're, he's speaking and he drops Ooh. some fire alpha. Ooh. He drops Ooh. some fire alpha on the okay. plush, maybe a deal they're working on. People start sweeping. People start, you know, we might see a little Azuki round two, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, okay, <laughs> a little inside. Oh. <laughs> um, and these things start pumping, dude. And these things are pumping, and we're in the money. So, anyways, that's my play. I kind of like it. We'll check in on this next week. But I would go. Okay, long. so you're liking it. Point six one going long. Let's lock this in. <laughs> Let's lock this in, because there's no fun in doing this without putting a little skin in the game. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right, Bucko. So we're locked in at a twenty two eight Clanosaurus price lock. Order complete. We're locked in. We're locked in. So if we actually take a look at our lock so far, when did I short crypto on this? Oh no, that's not mine. <laughs> Right, maybe it was mine. My bad. Was. My bad. Maybe. My bad. That's on me, Chief. Uh, yeah, so the Banks ones didn't go well. Homeowners cooked. We actually cooked. went long previously on Klanos at 26.74, so we lost on that one. We went short on Crypto Undeads at 1.56. We lost that one. So right now, we're actually sitting at 1 and 4. Uh, but luckily, we had a 726% on that one, so it covered the costs. Get That's in. what I'm talking about. Bingo. That's right, what we're so talking we're sitting about. here. So we have till Thursday next week on this long at 22.8. Wednesday, Thursday Wednesday. next week would put a smack bam for NFT NYC. So I get Clemente. Dur- I like so the by, uh, During the Klanos event, basically, is when this expires. Bingo. Perfect. Perfect. Bingo. Uh, Couldn't perfect. have played better. So you ready for my next one? And I uh, actually. Someone asked cool. if I'm doing this on the Bodagos account. No, my vault just holds Bodagos.soul. So I bought that and I've been sitting on that. 
So it's not the Snake. actual Bodaga's account. It's just that I own the dot soul. That's you know, funny. I got, and you know, I, you know what else, you know what I sniped? I sniped choose rich dot eat dog. I'm freaking oh, yeah, You chose the dog. chain. That's just, you know, yeah. real, you should have chose choose rich dot soul. Just saying. I know. I know. Anyways. Um, so you ready for my next one? And I actually feel really good about this one. Yep, 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 yep. Mad lads price lock short at 141.5 soul. Mad lads price lock short at 141. And look, let's, I'm a fan of Mad Lads, but if you look we, what's at the thesis here, so up? dude, they they keep pulling back, right? They've pulled back from they were all the way up to 190 soul. Uh, basically, I'm on the USD chart ago. by the way, um, because I like the USD chart when you look at it like this. It does feel a little toppy, like pushing back down to like the 19k range. Yeah, would be shocking. So soul range selling, selling at the moment. It's it's it hasn't found any like stoppage and basically the the up but until actually, basically all time low, brother. It's bleeding, dude. This thing is bleeding, baby. And I love Mad Lads. Don't get me wrong, I love Mad Lads, but they're bleeding, dude. They're bleeding, and oh. the spread is literally you just need a downside of one point five soul, one point five soul. Okay, you can do okay. that any day of the week. There's not a lot of up until last night or up until this morning, actually, there has been more volume, but a lot of it is people selling into bids, right? Brother, so you said a short is at 140. We need a 10 soul drop. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. What, what are you talking about? No, we don't. It's at 141 right now. The 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 downside short is 140. Yo, we need it. We need it to go to one thirty six. Oh, never here. mind. Okay, take it back, dude. Someone literally pulled their on my screen. It said one forty. Yo, this is bullshit. Someone just pulled their liquidity live. Someone. Yeah, just I mean, that's <laughs> hey, listen. That's why we got it. That's why we got to take a look because this would have been um this would have been about a seven hundred dollar loss at current Solana prices. Anyways, look, this is bullshit. Uh, basically okay. then, cause I okay. was, I was very excited about it. That, that, those were my two picks. Um, the problem is these people are listening. You can't be giving out, look, we're just giving out free alpha nowadays. You know what I'm saying? And people are listening. We're, we're moving the market is what's going on. Um, so that was my only other one. I feel good about the Klanosaurus long. I don't know if there were any other ones that you were looking at easy. I wanted to actually against my, my conviction. I wanted to short little potatoes. I thought they were overcooked, but, uh, <laughs> the potatoes were overcooked, but you couldn't. Um, can't short them. You can't short them. Can't short Price them. Price not live. I, to be honest, man, I'm looking here and I'm like, I don't really like a lot of these spreads. I like the Klanosaurus spread. That was a good one. That was a good one. I like that spread a lot. The Is Mutant here, Mun there? Do they have Mutant no. Mun? No. Oh. I want. I want to short them. <laughs> Why would you short the mutants, brother? No, I would. No, I would go long on Mutant. Uh, mutant really? Mun. If it was there. The SPL yeah. 404 yeah. meta is gonna exactly. cook, brother. Like, let's switch this to light mode so we can just take a look at these. They're so fun. They're if so I could fun. go long on this, that's what I would go long on. Uh, and I think seven days. Yeah, seven days from now would be good. But anyway, it's not on there, so we can't do it. But that would Only be my trade. Ones, yeah. Okay, I like Mutant Mon's play on this as well. I do like that. I'm To be honest, man, I'm kind of looking at these. I almost want a short SMB Gen 3. I'm okay. tempted. I'm SMB tempted. Gen 3. These are only at 4.6. We would need a full soul drop on those, though. And at 4.6, dropping That's down tough. is not worth it. Yeah. Why we do you want to short this easy? Why, why do you want to go short on the Gen 3s? There's just so much supply on this. To still, like, technically, they could still mint another 3K of barrels that could enter the market. And the issue is, I actually kind of like this guy. I kind of want to get him. You were just saying you were going to short. <laughs> yeah, but he's got a Hawaiian shirt. So we're going to rip a YOLO buy. He's got a Hawaiian shirt, dude. Like, I'm a Hawaiian shirt, Max. He's got some nice sunglasses. I was going to short it, but now we're just going to, you know, gamble on it a little bit. An entertainment product. An entertainment product. Let's see if we win one. Let's see if we win one. You know, I'm a little nervous right now because it's still going. And usually when it goes this long, I have bad luck. Really bad luck. <laughs> it literally really that's happens luck. every time. Every time. So for, for people every listening, time. Easy is taking a – Easy is doing a lucky buy on SMB Gen 3. Oh, my God, dude. You got 59 tensor points, though. Nice. Bingo. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Bingo. <laughs> oh, my God, All right. dude. Um, any any final trades that, that stick out to you guys? I'm feeling real good about What about OK oh. Bears? Let's take a look at this. OK Bears, what's the spread on this puppy? 
They have what to go it? up. <laughs> Someone said, oh. "What's the spread yeah. on this one?" Worth it. Uh, <laughs> the spread on OKBs. We're looking at a wow. The upside's actually nuts on this one. You need a sick. You need a one point two stole move up. Oh, there's no hit way. on the long. Hit on the long, and on the downside, we're looking at a. There's no way. One soul downside. Yeah, dude. Come on, we can't. Yeah. Twenty five percent dip, dude. Yeah. Ah, a little bit rough. Little hey, bit rough but the bold, the bold case. The, hear me out. Bold case for OK Bears. They just raised a shit ton of money. They have to do something with it. <laughs> they can't. Or yeah, but yeah, yeah, they. But are they going to do something with it in the next seven days? That's like that's the question here. It feels it feels pretty muted Bas right now. They the got Bears. the basketball game and NFT NYC, right? Maybe mm -hmm. some crazy. Let me paint you another picture. NFT NYC basketball. Yep, yep, uh, yep, their, yep. their founder, whatever his name is, one of their co-founders goes, goes goes for a big old dunk, and in the celebration, in the euphoria, leaks some alpha. People start oh, buying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bears. He's pounding it's his good. chest. He's like, "We got yeah. a partnership yeah. on your head, head top, head top." <laughs> like, um, that's on me. Who's your Who's your bear now? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. bears on top. Wagbo, uh, and top then of the bear. Four surges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's this is a momentum game, right? So you got to yeah, be able to know the time. sentiment when it shifts. All it takes is a big old slam dunk, beat of the chest. Things could get crazy in NFT NYC. <laughs> Shout out Shiggins03. Clemente sounds like Uncle Rico trying to sell us shit. <laughs> uh, you see that mountain over there? I could throw a football over the top of it. Yeah, no, this this is fair. Clemente, um, I think you're reaching. I think you're reaching. Stick with the Klanos trade. I stick with the Klanos trade. It's a good one. Listen, <laughs> we can make it back. But I feel like like the Bears, the OK Bears, yet yeah, like you're reaching on that one. That's just that's just no more well, trading, I, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's keep it, we'll, and we'll check in on these all of these either way in, in seven days. We'll see, we'll see how it plays out. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's our show. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. That was a fun one. A lot of stuff covered. Uh, we will be back same time tomorrow. One more, actually, quick shout out to our partners over at Tensor. Continue.